having a work career in, in um, marketing. And um, for the last 10 years of my work life, I was uh, putting people into apprenticeships for Mission Australia, which was very satisfying work. And the accumulation of being a, a jack of many trades and not necessarily master of all of them. But uh, one of the things that I want to draw to your attention is um, there has been a change in Freemasonry in our charity work. And charity work is the thing that uh, keeps this country going. Um, there's a new name for Masonic Charities, and in Queensland it's now known as Hand, Heart, Pocket. It's like a mini um, Red Cross uh, in terms of the funding. For a number of years, from 1925 to 2016, <clears throat> we had um, aged care homes right throughout Queensland supporting people in their declining years. Uh, the federal government made decisions a little while back that they wanted to reduce the number of people in that sector and, uh, and that would give them fewer major operatives and so they could have tighter controls on the quality of service delivery, which we fully applaud. So we sold off all the, uh, the real estate we had and we have a substantial bank balance which is earning interest now every year, some millions of dollars. And uh, I've got some handouts which I'll have while you, uh, I'll hand out while people are having something to eat and drink. But uh, when we say we help uh, with the handouts, Women's Legal Service uh, 2018, we gave them $340,000 off the bat. Um, we, uh, Children's Hospital Foundation, $150,000. Um, uh, a wellness centre for people uh, suffering cancer in Cairns, we've just given them half a million dollars for that. So when we talk about being involved in charity and giving, this is to put money into the community where it's needed. And the thing that I would touch on briefly is in America, you have corporate donations uh, to charitable enterprises for a, a reason because for people in the business of attracting clients that's marketing for you if you have a reputation for being involved in meaningful charity work you, that improves your profile within society and uh, I challenge everyone to sort of take that thought away and think about it and uh, if at some point as you're building your own personal businesses you think about combining with charitable institutions. Uh, keep hand, heart, pocket in mind. Go on the website and read all about it. There's not time to, to tell you now, but I'll leave business cards out so that anyone that wants information from me, I can, uh, I can talk for many hours on a topic very close to my heart. But some of the things that uh, are worth knowing about very quickly, since about 1887, the Freemasons in Queensland have been producing their own magazine. And um, this is the quality of product that we've been producing over a number of years. It wasn't this good back in the 1800s. Um, <laughs> the magic of something like this is a lifestyle vehicle, particularly if you advertise in it. This is the sort of thing that stays in the home. It's not like a 30 second ad on TV or a, a newspaper which are falling out of favor now, which will be tomorrow's fish and chips wrapper. But when you tie your business into uh, an institution which is worldwide, not just Australia-wide, you open up many marketing opportunities for yourself. Very quick example, I, I'm secretary of a, uh, uh, a little Masonic Lodge that's been going for about 137 years. For the last 20 or so years, we've been, to, been producing a little diary, which we sell through the Masonic community and other people, uh, advertise in this diary now this is a document that people carry around their shirt pocket all year. It, it tells people the dates of all the Masonic meetings right throughout Queensland, when their annual general meetings are. Smart people advertise in it because it's very low cost advertising. Um, but to give you an example, uh, our small lodge of some 30 odd members, uh, proceeds from this allowed us in the last short while to give ten and a half thousand dollars for the farmers for the um, drought relief which we've been involved in. When the Queensland floods were on, uh, we moved in after the floods 
and we refurbished sporting clubs that went under in Panala and places like that. So we were in a position financially to give them grants, replace the furniture in their dining rooms, get the club back on their feet. So we're part of the community, we love what we do, uh, but the invitation to all of you today is to consider being part of that for your future and your charity work in what is your society. Thank you for your time. Thank you.